Hello and welcome everyone to another quick edit video. This time I want to try something new and it's called focal blending, which basically means I'm blending together two separate images with different focal lengths. So here I got my wide angle shot for the foreground and I'm going to use this zoomed in shot um, to blend in the mountain range you can see in the back together with my wide angle shot. But before I start with the focal blending, I'm going through the basic editing process in Lightroom and Photoshop first. So like always, I'm activating Remove Chromatic Aberration and I also enable the profile correction. Next I want to straighten the image because it doesn't look uh, even. Now as I am going to blend two images together, I'm only looking at the foreground for this image here because I only will use the foreground. So therefore I'm going to increase the clarity quite a bit. Then I'm using a radial filter to bring out the highlights in the river. And I'm also going to add a bit of vibrance. I also want to increase the luminance of the blue color tones to increase the highlights in my foreground. And I also want to give my highlights a bit of a bluish color tone. So I'm going to select a blue color tone in the split toning section. And to finish this image I'm just going to sharpen it quite a lot. Now we have our foreground image ready, so I'm going to edit the image for the background now. Again I'm activating the remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction settings. And now I just focus on the background of this image. So it's a bit overexposed as you can see in the cloud, so I am going to reduce the highlights. And I also want to increase the shadows a bit, as well as the whites and decrease the blacks after that. Also again I want to increase the clarity quite a bit, because it just works well um, when working with a mountain image. Now I'm adding a bit of vibrance. And now I'm decreasing the luminance in the blue color tones, so I get a more dramatic sky. Also, I want to increase the luminance of the green color tones here. And I might as well add a bit of saturation for the green tones. Now I am not going to touch the split toning section for this image, but I am going to increase the sharpening. I want to bring out the sky a bit more, therefore I'm using a gradiated filter and drag it over with the sky part. And here I'm just decreasing the exposure a bit. So this is the editing part in Lightroom for both images. Now I'm going to export them and finish editing them in Photoshop. And the first thing I want to do now is the focal blending. So I got my wide angle shot here and the zoomed in shot here. What I'm going to do is I'm selecting the clone stamp tool and now I'm going to clone an area of my zoomed in shot into my wide angle shot. So therefore I am pushing alt and select the area which I want to clone and click with the left mouse button. Then I'm going over to my wide angle shot and I just paint in the cloned area. So as you can see in the before and after comparison, I have seemingly blended uh, those two images together to get a more dramatic look. So now that the focal blending is finished, I'm starting with the basic editing again with the Nick collection. And the first filter I want to add is the polarization one. And as you can see it gives the image quite more saturation. Now I don't like what the filter does to the um, highlights in the foreground, so I'm going to mask them out via layer mask. I don't think this image needs more editing, just a few minor tweaks. First I'm going to remove this um, stick or whatever it is with the healing brush tool. And then I want to apply some dodging and burning. Therefore I am creating a new layer and then I am creating a layer mask for this layer 
Then I'm going over to image, apply image and hit OK. Now I want to just see the layer mask so I am pushing the Alt key and click on the mask. Next thing I want to do is uh, I only want to edit the highlights in my foreground. So I'm only editing the bright parts you can see now in the image like this white water or the clouds on the top of the image. What I can do is um, I can increase the contrast by hitting by hitting Control L, and now I want to separate the dark parts of the image with the bright parts of the image. So I'm just dragging the blacks up to the right. Once I've done that, I'm going back to my layer and set the blending mode to to overlay. Then I'm grabbing my brush tool with the white foreground color and then I'm painting over the areas which I want to increase the brightness of. As you can see I now increase the highlights a bit without touching the saturation of the highlights itself. And that was it for this picture. I hope it was helpful and if you'd like to see more content like this feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.